In this example, I'm going to show you how to create a simple ticket application using Fiery Freeform Create. So we're going to use our variable data document workflow, and I'm going to choose our master. And then we're going to choose the data source. So looking at the columns in our data source, you can see that Freeform Create has recognized almost all of the fields as text, and it's correctly recognized the barcode field as having a barcode. So when we look at our data source, you can see that in the column header here, we've used this vertical line, this accelerator as we call it, to indicate to Freeform Create that barcode content is going to be in this field. And to create these numbers, we just use the simple fill series command in Excel, which you can see an example of how I would use it. I take this number and I just drag it down, and then I just choose fill series, and it continues the numbers on uh, sequentially. So to do this, you would just start with a random number and use fill series and go on as long as you need, as you need it to. Um, so that's an easy way to create a simple numbering application using Excel and Freeform Create. So when we go back to Freeform Create, we click Create, and you see our ticket master. So you can see we've got a lot of available text fields here, but we're only going to use a few of them. So I'm going to use the first and last name, and I'm going to stack my variable fields here need to make the font just a little bit smaller so that it fits in the space. Make the size of my text field a little bit smaller and center it. Then I'm going to add the ticket number, which I'm also going to make sure is centered. It looks like it is. I will center these two to themselves. And then I will add the barcode, which I will drag this ticket number barcode field over. So it pops up as this COOP205 barcode, but we actually want a QR code here. So I will choose QR code from the list, and it turns into a QR code. So now I can simply just do one more quick alignment on all of these fields here. Everything looks okay, so now I can preview it. And so you see the, uh, the name, the first and last name here, and you see the ticket number. And then in the barcode, you see that everything here is actually, the barcode contains the ticket information. So this would be a great way of um, in ensuring enhanced security because someone could scan the QR code and make sure that the number that they see matches what's actually on the printed ticket. Um, so I'll just do a quick name preview here to make sure we've got enough room for our names and I'll use our longest name filter to check our longest first name, this one, which we've got enough room there. And then we'll double check the last name and again use the filter for the longest last name. And we've got enough room there, so this application is done and ready to save and send to the Fiery server for production.